Okay, so let's get started. This is 3921, week 7, lecture 3. So today, what I was planning to do was to discuss the SD card, but I'll do that in detail on um, Monday. So let's see, uh, go to week 6 to 10 project, and let's just look at it while this design is downloading. And the design I want to discuss today is VGA, that is your lab 3, where you display the time I displayed using VGA. Okay. And again, for those of you who are using the D0, you don't have VGA, D0 Nano. So just use your JTAG UART, that is printf, uh, to display uh, your data onto the terminal console. Okay. Now, as far as the SD card is concerned, like I said, there are two ways to, well, there are basically three ways. There is choose code, your books code. There is thoracics, and there is also the university program. Now, let's look at the university program one. Uh, for today, I haven't used it in like a couple of years, and I don't know how much improvements they have done. So let's see if they go on. Let's just take a look at it. Uh, where is it? 13.1 IP University Program Communications. No, that's not where it is. Input output. No. Uh, memory. Interesting. Thank you. Alter SD card doc. What is this? Let me just take that. Ah, oh, that's not helpful. So this is the Avalon interface, which is, you don't care if you don't want this. Uh, let's go back in here. All right. So SD card, uh, blah, 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 instantiating the code in QSYS. It looks different from what I've seen a couple of years ago. So you could try this, OK? I'm not. I'm gonna do the thoracic one. I don't have really time to try this, but it looks. Uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, May 2013 updated. So yeah, I would recommend uh, trying this first uh, using the HAL device driver. Let's see what. Uh, oh, here it is. No, not that. So this is nice. So this is the first thing you want to do. Just remember that. Uh, it can only be FAT16 file system, file allocation table. And if you want uh, SD cards, please get them from tech support. Sign them up. They have them. I would recommend you use those because they are known to work with the SD card, con not the controller, the SD card uh, uh, physical interface on the DE ones. Okay. So what else functions do they have? Let's see. Uh, uh, device driver subroutines. Find first. Yeah, they have some nice uh, functions, okay? And since I'm on the subject of SD card, let me see when I go back to the website. Okay, so if you look at SD card core thoracic, okay, so let's look at this. Uh, let's actually look at these. Right? Let, me, let me just discuss this right now. So on Monday, I can do something else. And plus, you guys can get started on the SD card over the weekend. So, what are downloads? Yeah, let me discuss this, and then I'll discuss VGA. Let's call this temp. Uh, 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 where is it? Oh, it went to my documents? Uh, 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 Probably went to my desktop. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> okay, let me just put it under temp. Under downloads. Well, look here. And I'll open this up in Notepad++. I'm just going to discuss the code. So put it up there. Uh, let's see. If I go back in here. What else I got? Main program. My includes SD card driver. Okay. Again, this is Thoracic's code. Okay. So you don't need to include all this, but this shows you some of the ideas behind uh, basically opening a file from the SD card, right, an image, and then displaying it. So depending, on, I'm addressing the group which is specifically doing the image. So you have to decide ahead of time what kind of image format you want. I think we used BMP, if I remember right, because BMP is uncompressed, I believe. So I don't have to do a decompression. Like JPEG is compressed. You can, right? It's just uh, start with something simple. That's what I would recommend. Uh, let's see. Let's see what I got here. What? New folder. I thought I put a temp folder in here. Apparently not. Cut this. 
couldn't this over there. All right. So right, file system dot C. Save there. Let's look at H. Right, file system dot H, and then some internal stuff. Uh, and one of the ways you want to understand code, one one approach is actually the top-down approach. That is, you start with the main program, go through it, and then when whenever you don't understand what's some functions in the main program, you go into the appropriate .c file and .h file and understand how it works. Okay, so it's a top-down approach. Uh, I would not recommend bottom-up approach for understanding software uh, because it's probably like, it's definitely production level software is too big, right? So you can understand everything. But even if you go down to like the lowest subroutine or subfunction, it's not like hardware, okay? In the sense, it is, it's more, it's easier to start at the main program, in my opinion. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's just, um, okay, so downloads, I don't need this temp folder. Wow, it's slow. Don't need that, close that. All right, let's look at main program, okay? Uh, so here it is. I include some other my types as well. Oh, another thing. Just looking at this, if I'm using the thoracic driver, your file name is limited to uh, this format. Okay, that is basically 8.3 format. Eight letters for the name of the file, and three, eight characters for the name of the file, valid characters, and three characters for extension. This is for, again for the thoracic core. I don't know if your um, SD card core has the same. I mean the University program SD card code has the same restriction, but it's a good idea to stick to that 8.3 format. Okay. It's an older format, but that's the way it is. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so this is actually memtest. Okay, here's a it's interesting. here's an example of memtest. Simple one. Um, so this is Terasix, uh, and this is interesting. Note that their device drivers they're not very well coded. So this was a potential 3921 project I suggested, but a couple of years ago or whatever. Okay, so let's see. So what I do is I declare these two types, okay? And you definitely have, so the idea of using Terasic core or as you may have noticed, the university program core is kind of similar in the sense you have particular data types uh, that you use for the task at hand. For example, for the pixel buffer, you have some device buffers that you use. In the case of Terasic, you have a directory handle and the name of the, well, not the name of the file, a file handle, okay? So first thing you have to do is you have to mount the SD card, okay? I'm pretty sure in, well, we can look at it. In the university program code, you have something similar. Oh yeah, it's, uh, so it's open. So you definitely have to open the device and let's see, is there something else? Card read, card write, card, Close. So basically, you have to, in the case of the uh, university program course, you have to open the device. And something important is you have to close the device as well, right? Because with file systems, when you close it, uh, there is some background stuff going on that is actually flushing your buffers to the file, etc. So you should not leave it open. Is that clear? Unlike your pixel buffer in buffers, in general, it's a good idea to close down your device. Okay. Your operating system in Unix and stuff, when you do an unmount, it does a lot of things in the background. Okay. So let's keep going. And then what I do is I just, so this is something you want to do, the group who's using the SD card. You want to mount, uh, so you want to initialize the SD card and the source code is an SD card driver.c. I think I downloaded it. Let's just take a look at it. So this is an example of a device driver, right? So it's all like low level functions. So here, so I fixed some stuff in here a long time ago, and uh, but anyway, so this is how you like, for example, write device drivers. You can see there are some; uh, these are some preprocessor directives. Okay, they're defines which you can potentially find. Oops, wrong one. Let me just close this. Close to it. Potentially find in this. 
let's see what this is here. Yeah, here it is, okay. So basically, this is how thoracic interface is SD card. This is you have PIOs, okay, that come directly into your NIOS 2 core. They don't have an Avalon wrapper around it. Chu does, okay. And I'm sure that the university program drivers have an Avalon wrapper. But thoracic doesn't. So to actually write, they, they literally write to the SD card from their C code. And their timing is very interesting. They use like sleep function. So anyway, so here's an example of a device driver. All right. So it's pretty neat. They might also have some assembly uh, code in here sometimes. All right. So these are examples of device drivers. Okay. So let's go back to our main program. So you initialize the SD card, you mount it, and you list the directories. Okay. And finally, so here it is. So listing directories if the mount is success, and then you unmount it. So this is what this code does. And the, I, I don't have the display image code because a couple of years ago, the project, course project was not open-ended. I basically asked them to display image from an SD card. Okay. But for the group who's using the SD card, this is a very good checkpoint. Right? So if you can do this, so before you actually display the image, now that you have the pixel buffer working, do this. Right? Use the mm, university program course. And then let's see if they have it. I saw something in here. Car find. Here it is. Directory search. So they do have something equivalent, right? And I'm sure they didn't have this like a couple of years ago. So I recommend you try the university program course. Okay, so just translate this program here to the university to use the university program code. Just list the directory. And you can either display the directory onto your screen via the pixel buffer. Well, yeah, actually, sorry, you have to use the character buffer. You can do that, actually. Like, in the sense, here is a reference design. This one uses both the pixel and the character buffers, yes? You could do that. Or you can simply use printf's uh, and display it to your JTAG UART. What I recommend you do is you do this, obviously, in stages, right? First, open up the SD card and then display it to via the JTAG UART to your console using printf's. Do that first. If that works, then you can add the functionality, if you want, of displaying the directory contents onto your screen using the character buffer. And you can split the screen into two like I've done, right? In this reference design, if you want, these are some bells and whistles you can add. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can display your file name list, only image files, and then the user using the keys, he or she can scroll through the files, what they want to display, and press another key to display it on the side of the screen. Right. So that is our user on the, in the pixel buffer. Is that clear? So any questions on the SD card interface? So I'll try to demo it on Monday using the university program core if I have time. Right. OK, so now let's look at the. VGA uh, Lab 3. So I think it's downloaded. So like this, like that. So here it is. So let's go to computer C. Oops, desktop. Where is it? Do, do, do. VGL world extract Get to the desktop. Do, do. All right, so I'll just take a look at the code. I need this. I need... All right. Do, do, do. So what I'm going to look at is just the code software. VGS. Whoops, not the BSP. Hey, come on. All right, so, and again, I've given some examples or a reference for VGA software driver in the sense you, the link to the media computer, the HAL directories. So what I do is, as usual, I declare first a type, a pointer to this type, okay? This is what you want to access. Uh, and this whole thing about the legacy IRQ, 
you have to use the legacy IRQs if you're using the university program course, okay? So if you use the legacy IRQ for non-university program course, for example, the timer, you get a warning in uh, Eclipse, but it works anyway, right? So I recommend you put a comment here saying that uh, we're using legacy uh, IRQ because the university program course don't support the enhanced API. So the user or even yourself, when you look at it a year from now or even like three weeks from now, you understand what's going on. Okay. So I register the timer, okay? I enable the, means I open the character buffer. So I can, okay, I was gonna discuss VGA, so let's just discuss VGA. Initialize it, okay? Clear it, and then remember this takes around 5,000 clock cycles, and then I just display something, okay? Uh, now, what I have, in addition to this, is so I display this Hello World program runtime. This doesn't, mo it's not modified, right? What's mod what changes is whatever follows this, which is the time your program has been running. And that's done by this function, okay? So number below is displayed at 0, 0,1. Uh, oh, sorry, this is uh, just a value of E. I just display something. But anyway, let's look at... Um, so I have something else here which computes my value of e. Right? I was testing some floating point functions, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, here it is, compute e. Okay. I was just mucking around with it. But anyway, so what is what I want to show you is this one. Mm -mm. So here. Uh, so I've used altera underscore u8, and there was some question about why you're getting undefined, uh, that is you're getting a warning that it couldn't, that the compiler couldn't find this. Yes, it's probably because you're not including, uh, let's see, there should be system.h. You need to include this, right? It's probably in this one, in one of these include files, this is already included. I think it's, yeah, I think it's under the sys. I know it's alter or types. I just forgot where it is. Right. So it's either under the sys folder. Look in your BSP. Okay. So here, this is what you need to include. So going down here. Okay. So what I do here is I extract my digits as usual, and then I use this alter up character buffer draw. Okay. Now the cool thing about this is the function is that it takes in char. Okay to display, so what I do is corresponding to my digit, I have in this array the character code I want to display. It uses the ASCII character code. So if you go up here, notice I have unsigned char, right? So your types or domains of function is very important. Uh, let's just look at it, since we have tons of time. In the sense, if you want to Altera, University program, audio, video. So it's going to video IP core, character buffer, blah, blah, software programming model, open device, draw. Yeah, here it is, draw, okay? So the domain of this function for displaying characters is unsigned char, okay? You, if you try to pass in integers, you won't get an error, okay? But it's not, it won't be in the domain. So in other words, what you need to do is if you want to look at, you have to basically, if you want to display zero, you have to display the character code of numbers you have to pass into the function i'm sorry not display so if you want to display zero you have to pass into the function the character code ascii character code of zero all right so what is the ascii character code of zero so let's look at ascii character table if you just google search for this you should get it uh, ascii table.com wow it can be more obvious all right so here is the char so here it is, okay? Oops, I can't highlight this, but I'll just point to it, so there it is. If you want to display zero, it's ASCII code 48. Or in C, 
you can use the quote all right very important okay domains the domain of a function is not integer so you shouldn't do this because that's integer that's not char is that clear and this is data directed programming which we alluded to a couple of a few weeks earlier so let's say i have i want to display zero okay so this is of type integer but when i index into this array what i get back is unsigned char zero so it displayed correctly is this very clear it's a common mistake which c programmers make which is what really shocks me and it's a common interview question right just the domain it just doesn't make sense you should not pass an unsigned int here it's wrong right you won't get an error you'll get a warning and you pro most likely won't see the right result right some of the modern c compilers are smart that is they figure out that you're doing the wrong thing and they compensate for it but it's not it's not the correct thing to do you have to send in here unsigned char okay very important so and that's what i did by indexing into this array which returns unsigned char right so and that's data directed programming so here it is so this is int which i extract from here but when i send the data to display to my function it's unsigned char and there are only 10 digits right 0 to 9 very simple okay so it's a common this is a very common trick right? all right so that's all i had for like today uh, let's see so let me ask you what do you want to do for the next uh, uh, three weeks actually you have eight nine ten so uh, the only thing i have left to discuss is actually the sd card because i believe uh, besides that i mean i could talk about the accelerometer so let's on the d0 nano let's see it's not what it is so 3921 i didn't have anything else to talk about oh no it's lecture notes so slow all right so let me close this no what did this start up nope sucks it's going to downloads Explorer. Uh, uh, uh. Where's my downloads at? Documents. What the hell happened to downloads? Uh, let's see. My docs. Okay. Yeah. Downloads. Ah, 3921. Finally. Syllabus. Mm -hmm. Let's close video. Close. Wow, it's slow. Okay, so I, like I said, I don't have anything else to discuss. Uh, I just wanted to talk about timing closure, but uh, you don't have time to do timing closure, right? So I'll, I already talked about it like a long time ago. So you have the idea behind it. So all I had was SD card interfacing. Okay. So I could talk about like ADA interfacing, or like our accelerometer interfacing, or do you have anything else in mind? So what do you want me to do? Student requests, huh? Okay, so audio. So let's see. So this is what week eight next week. So you want to do SD card plus audio demo, okay? So what else? And that'll take week eight. So week nine. So do you want me to make it an open lecture, or what do you want to do? Do you want to take this time to like work on your projects instead of coming to lecture? So I'll do that and let me know. Right, so I'll put question mark here. And week ten also I have open lecture, but I'll put like question mark. So next week we'll talk about SD card. I mean I'll demo this. Right, this is a working version of this. <coughs> and I'll demo loopback. Okay. 
So yeah, and then we'll go from there. And honestly, to uh, give examples of this, I'm just going to uh, redo. If you want to know what I'm going to do, I'm going to obviously go in here and look at the university program. And I asked to computer systems and just reuse this. For example, especially the audio. I don't think they have SD card in here. So SD card, I have to do it myself. That's fine. So I'm just going to take the audio ISR and just modify this. Okay. Let's do loop back. That's all it is. All right. So that's about it for today. So I'll just hang. Well, I'll just hang around a little bit. Um, actually, no, I'll just hang around here because I have class after this. All right. So we're done. Uh, yeah. Work on your projects, and I'll see you Monday.